Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is it that your person wants to confess to you and what is it that they're hiding from you. This is going to be a general reading. There's also going to be a part two to this reading and part two is going to be made via the extension link below. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. I also just want to mention that in part two of the reading, uh, we are going to continue on from the messages and perhaps just dive a little bit deeper into some of these messages that we get. Okay, so if this is like an ex or someone that you've recently disconnected with, um, bottom of the deck you have eight of wands, uh, then I do feel like this is someone who hasn't let go of you emotionally or energetically. It feels like this person is still holding on to your energy. Um, they're just not able to let go of you, okay? Not just yet. I'm also seeing that this uh, situation between you and this person is very complex. It's very complicated. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which to me kind of resembles a bit of a web. So a web of lies, a web of emotional affairs, a web of emotions that they find themselves entangled in. Your person, I don't think that your person believes in soulmates or didn't believe in soulmates until you came along. Okay. Um, however, I do feel like the relationship, the connection with you has been very turbulent. They have kept secrets from you in the past. And when you found out about uh, these secrets, it's, in a way, it's pushed you away from them indirectly, right? It might have put you off from them. It might have dissipated some of your emotions for them over time. Or it just, it made you trust this person a little less, okay? You started questioning maybe things that they would say or do. They do have this pattern that feels like they're either exaggerating or they have a tendency to not tell the truth a lot of the time so they like to maybe fabricate the truth they like to stretch the truth they like to tell you a version of their truth but as i say we all know the truth doesn't have versions right so if they're telling you a version of the truth they're telling you a lie bluntly put uh, your person might be a compulsive liar. Your person might be someone who is, uh, the thing is, they've lied in their past and now it's sort of embedded into their character. They've done it once, they've gotten away with it and they'll do it again. It feels like they do it because they want to get themselves out of a situation or they lie because they um they don't know how to deal with the emotions or how they do to deal with the situation. So they come up with a version of what's going on. Um, I also feel like whatever it is that they're holding from you here has a lot to do with what's happened here between either what's happened in the past. I think there are certain things about the past that this person hasn't opened up and shared um, and shared with you. I also feel like this person is... Um, they're very defensive about what it is they have to say to you. They're very defensive. There's a lot of fiery energy here. Okay, so this person is very, um, maybe in the past when you've had conversations around certain topics or you've had conversations in which, you know, you were alluding or you were telling them that you don't believe them or you don't trust what they're saying here. It's made them get very defensive and it's because, you know, you have, I feel like a lot of you have reason to say that because they've given you reason not to trust them in the past. But I think that kind of bums them out, the fact that they've lost your trust or the fact that they've broke your, broke your trust in the past. 
I think what they have to tell you is going to hurt you because in a way something that they've said or done here feels like it's out of spite or out of retaliation so they didn't necessarily want to do this or they didn't want to misbehave they didn't want to go and you know break things off with you they didn't want to walk away but they felt like they were responding to the situation somehow at least emotionally because they didn't confront what they were feeling they didn't confront their emotions they acted out and they lashed out in anger hurt or even resentment there might be someone else in the picture here okay maybe your person here has maybe they're talking to someone else um, maybe this is someone who is maybe they have cheated on you with I feel like it's somehow to do with the past maybe they've cheated on you in the past or they've cheated with you some, that, with someone that they've known from the past might have been a romantic interest of some sort they're wrangling with this with this difficult issue of how to tell you this okay of how to tell you what they've done here or um i think they're trying to it feels like they're trying to fool themselves into thinking that it's time to move on from you and it's time to move on from the situation but i, I think the i don't think this person is ready to move on and i think um I don't think they're comfortable telling you this because it feels like they um, they're kind of again they're fooling themselves into thinking that the two of you are going to cross paths and everything is going to work out to me it feels like there's been some resistance in this person's energy to grow and a part of that growth means that you know they would have that they would be able to hold honest candid transparent conversations with you They're definitely, here's the thing, you've had some sort of conversation with this person, but they've left something out. And maybe it had to be up to you to, maybe something they said raised your suspicions and it was up to you to question them. Maybe, you know, it was up to you to bring this conversation um, up. It just feels like they've left something out because they weren't ready to share this with you they were scared that you know whatever it is that they wanted to tell you that it was going to it was going to possibly hinder this, this connection it was going to you know put you it was going to hurt you um, or it was going to uh, make them appear in um, a negative light there is unfinished business between the two of you and i think the fact that the two of you are just at a stage where you may be wanting to reconcile or you're at a stage where you know you've had some sort of unresolved conflict or tension i think this is why this person is holding back from telling you a truth here and the truth could be that they may have cheated on you uh, they may have been talking to other people here um, the truth is definitely going to hurt you it's going to anger you as well but it's something that you deserve to know, right? The cards are definitely encouraging for them to come forward and open up to you so that you can move forward. Maybe w whether it is you're moving forward from this or you're moving forward together in the connection. The cards are definitely encouraging that. Um, in part two of the reading, we're going to take a look and see whether this person is finally going to open up to you and reveal the the very information the very things they're keeping from you so follow me to part two via the extension link below i just want to thank you guys for your time your energy please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye